What's up, y'all? I'm Marquita and this is Darnell. Y'all, we just got an unexpected check and we need to share this with y'all. Okay, so um as y'all know, we just moved out here to Phoenix. Yes. Um everything is cool. Uh, we are uh, you know, it's still a pandemic. Yeah. Um and you know, all the jobs aren't necessarily opened up, uh, open up for hiring people right now because there's a lot of jobs furloughed or everything. But uh, in the midst of all of that, um, God showed us we in the right place by sending us multiple, not one, not one, two unexpected checks. Y'all, yeah, I about fell out when I saw it. So the behind the scenes story of it is for like a year. I had been feeling like, well, we had been a little behind on our tax to just be honest and transparent yeah. with y'all. Um, we needed to file, get updated on our taxes. So, like a year, I've been telling Darnell, like, I really feel like we need to go ahead and do it. We need to go ahead and spend the money and get the back taxes filed. Um, we eventually was like, cool. We found a guy. The guy took care of everything, filed our taxes for us. Literally, what? Sorry, we left Atlanta in May. We got our taxes filed in February. So, we're not expecting anything back because we felt like, you know, we haven't filed. So, we probably we're really bracing. We're bracing for right. how much they're going to say we got. They hit us over the head with. Right, exactly. So back. But Darnell, you received something that said. Yeah, that I, I got something in the mail saying, uh, Gotcha. Pretty much, I was like, pretty much, it just said, um, "Yeah, you had a little bill for us, yeah. um, and uh, thank you for filing. Thank you for that donation. And they, they took all the money, every dime." And so when I saw that, I'm I'm like, cool. You know, like at least my in my mindset, well, in both our mindset was like, well, at least we filed and they took the money that we owe. Yeah. Like, it's off of our backs. We're trying to buy a house. We're trying to do all the stuff, so we know right. we need to pay that pay them back. Um, I had kept, I kept checking my status online and just kept saying in process, in process. Um, so right before we moved, I checked my status again and it said, you know, that I owed and that they would reduce the amount or take the check and then they'll send me a letter in the mail saying, you know, how much they took. So fine. Again, I'm, we're not expecting anything. Right. We were here. What? How long were we here before we got the check? Like. Three weeks. Three weeks. So I'm still I'm looking for my stimulus check, right? Cause the stimulus check says it's been processed. I'm like, cool. At least I got. At least we filed. Right, we filed. Right, so we get that. And I got a little stimulus coming, so we gonna be good. That'll keep us a little while. Cause of course we're not working right now. Child, check the mailbox. I saw a check in the mail. We like. I'm like, okay, this probably my little stimulus check. Open the check. And it was my 2019 income tax. It was literally a blessing. Like, yeah, it's what? Definitely hold us for another month or two. Probably two. Two. Okay. So, we all thank you, Jesus. Worship Lord. Yeah, we yeah. love you. We praise you. You said you would supply all of our needs yeah. according to your riches and glory. glory. We see you. Thank you, Jesus. So we gone about our little business. We yep. tithe off of our check, yep. put the rest First of the savings in our regular account, pay some card notes so we can get called, make sure we're caught up on everything. Couple of weeks later, maybe what, two weeks later? Yeah. I'm still looking for my stimulus check. I still ain't, I ain't even got it. Yeah. So I'm checking the mailbox, like, okay. Check the mailbox, I saw a check, like two, three weeks later, two weeks later. I saw a check and I was like, oh, this is my stimulus check. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to put it in my pocket and surprise Darnell with it. Like, I'm like, I got my stimulus finally. So he goes in the bathroom. We come in the house. He goes in the bathroom. And uh, I open the check. And um, it was a 2018 income tax check. Am I supposed to send this back? What is this? She, she, it's out of control. I don't want to she, touch it. She crying. What is this? What is this? Oh, no, what is no. this? And it, I mean. And it was more than the 2019. 2019. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, okay, this was an error. I need to send this check back. I don't yeah. like. I don't know. I want to touch it. I don't know if the folks coming to get me. I don't know what's going on. 
Yeah. <sighs> Y'all, God is good. Man, amazing. And so. Oh yeah. yes. Oh, oh, that's good. You can tell. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Okay, I'm gonna tell. You can tell. Okay, I'm gonna say. You can tell. <laughs> so y'all, for real, honestly, we have been feeling like God had been telling us to just rest and reset, right? So, you know, you still got that part of you like, no, nah, we need to be work. We need to be doing this because you just as humans, we want to make we want to make sure we want to be in control. We, we feel like if we got money coming in every two weeks from our jobs, like we're in control. Right. And the truth is none of this stuff is safe. Right. And anytime you can lose your job, but we just want to be in control. And so we have been feeling like, you know, every once we moved, we first moved here the very first time and we first moved back to Atlanta, like we immediately had jobs like before we even unpacked our boxes we were going to work like seriously yeah. and so this time we felt like it was going to be different god had allowed us to save more and so we felt even before we got here so we felt like it was going to be different uh, so we didn't want to rush into anything or just accept any job or anything that we knew like man this is you know this is not what it is so there's a job that called me um paying a lot less than what I had been making and it was not close the commute was far and I had just come from Atlanta making a two hour two and a half hour commute every day getting up at 4 30 to get work at 8 30. um so I didn't want to take another long commute especially paying way less so in my mind I'm like I need to take whatever can come my way there's job free like I need to get, I need to take this job. And so, you know, I was able to tell the lady, let me get back to her. I needed to think about some things. I talked to Darnell and he's just like, I don't feel like you should take that job. I don't feel, I feel like you can wait. I'm like, okay, you know, I, I, I will wait, you know. Then literally a week later, we get the 2018 tax yeah. refund check, which was confirmation to us that God was saying, you're doing what I'm telling you to do. Right. And if you do what I tell you to do, I'm going to supply your needs. I'm going to make yeah. sure you're good. Like, And we're so used to like, what we got, what we're supposed to do, what we're supposed to do. Yeah. What are we supposed to do? Or should we do this? Should we do that? And, and just taking man, stuff. Just right? because we're like, we, we just need something. And like, I went to sleep one night and, and it got up early in the morning and I just kept hearing the, the scripture or it kept coming to me to seek first the kingdom of God. Yeah. And all of his righteousness and everything else will be added to me. Yeah. And uh, he will add everything else to you. But I, I kept thinking that. I was like, man, we went on our walks. I was like, I told her, I was like, mm -hmm. I think all we're supposed to do right now is seek first the kingdom of God and yep. all his righteousness. And, and he'll add everything me. else to us. Everything else we need. He'll add the doors that need to be open will be open. Yep. The doors that need to be closed will be closed. And that's really what we've been standing on. Mm -hmm. um, they, there's Now there's even there's other possibilities and, and um, that could happen. And we didn't even rush. We're not even rushing to those. We are. And he blesses us with so many man, resources. Man, so many resources yeah. guys bless us with. Like we we are super blessed, blessed beyond, beyond measures. I mean. We got a car on the way, blessed with, uh, you know, blessed with another car on the way. The way to get it here, uh, you know, been blessed by family to help us get it here. It's just, yep. you know, I think we feel um, like God has us, like he's always had us. Like he's, we've never gone without, we've never had to sleep yeah. sleep in the car, for real, for real. And every, uh, every move is different. Yeah. But every time we see the hand of God. Yeah. And this one is even a little more different. I, I we yeah. said this from the beginning, like a lot this one's gonna be a little more more different. This one, we're not gonna just make it. We're gonna thrive. Yeah. We're gonna thrive. And yeah. and I think what's what was on on our hearts, we, we heard the um this pastor we uh we, that we follow, uh, Mike Todd, preached the message a while ago and we heard it now and I've been I've been saying it for a while. We've been kinda of saying it amongst mm -hmm. each other for a while, but we're gonna uh stride and not strive we didn't want to have to we don't want to make make things happen if yeah. you know me you know i can talk <laughs> you know i can figure something out i can rush and get a job if it's yeah. delivering food or whatever the case may be i will make sure that my family is good and this the, but this is the first time god's like yo I got you. Yep. I got you. Yep. You do all, you did all that stuff before and it was cool. You you got by, but I got you. And 
just truthfully, his giving me is better than I ever did. <laughs> his giving yeah. me is better than, you know, delivering the groceries or yeah. the Boys and Girls Club or Working. selling tools I ain't never heard of or used or seen in my life. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, his got you is, 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 is really got you. And so we've been standing on the seek first, the kingdom yeah. of God. And all this righteousness. For real. It's just, it's a blessing, man. My, just, whatever you're doing, trust God. Yeah. For real. Like, if you, because you have to make a choice to trust God. We had to choose. I could have chosen that job. And Darnell could have came here and did something just to get by. But you, ha we had to make a choice and say, it's hard. It looks, it looks crazy. Yeah. And it's hard, but we're going to trust God anyway. Yeah. And so God, I feel like, is willing to do a lot for us, but we have to choose to trust him. Yeah. I think I was reading, I can't, I'm fit, find the scripture, but he was just saying if we as sinners, humans, can give good gifts to our kids, right. imagine what God, what yeah. God can give us. Yeah. And um, I remember there's another pastor, Ernest, yeah. a long time ago, we first got here, we went to a church and he was talking about the scripture, God could pro God will provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. And he said something, he gave a scenario that really stuck with me. He like, there was a lady that needed her car note paid and she didn't have any money in the bank to pay her car note, but she believed that God would provide. And somebody randomly gave her a check for the exact amount to pay her car note. And that's the thing where it says, hey, he's pro providing for us according to his riches and glory, which are unlimited, right. which can come from anywhere, not according to what we have in our bank account, right. but according to his riches and glory. Yeah. So if we trust him with our finances and giving back and tithing, like we don't have steady income, but we tithe off of what we get, and that's a whole nother. That's a whole, whole nother video yeah. that we're gonna have to get into later. Whole another video. But giving back what already belongs to God when He's given to you, and just trusting Him with, still trusting Him with the rest, um, He will definitely provide. Yeah, yeah. So and that kind of segues to. Um, even the shirts that we we wear. Yep. This is the the, the this one. God is faithful. Yeah. God is faithful uh, in that version, and then we have one that I wore on the interview. I don't know if you saw faith it, Unlimited. but it's the Faith Unlimited shirt. Yeah. Uh, if you want to partner with us, we have these shirts. Um, it's on faithunlimited.com, but it's F A I T H. U N L M T D dot yep. com. I'll put it in the description. It'll be in the description. Too. Or if you just want to donate to the to the cash out to the to the faith journey. Unlimited. Uh it's, it's Faith Unlimited. We'll have that down in the description as well. Yep. But really it it's not a t shirt line. We're not out here just trying to sell t shirts. It's it actually story. is it's our story. And it's and it's some of your stories too. And it's a it's our faith flag. Yeah. People people have stopped us in the grocery store, everything, and said, Yo, I needed to see that today. Or told us their story. Or sat and told us their story. Things that they were going through. Yep. And we were able to say, Hey, we're praying for you. You yep. can pray for people right there. Yep. But it's pretty much something that we want to use to remind. Yeah. You, it's a reminder for me because when I have on this shirt, y'all, and I want to act the fool because somebody that made me mad, I'd be like, I can't do it. Yeah. I got to show the love for Christ. Or just, or just helping somebody. Yeah, or, if, or just somebody, just somebody, if, if we're getting turned down for something or, yeah. or something is taking too long or they, just you know, patience or just our patience is being tried. We're like, man, you know what? For God us. is faithful. We're not going to yeah. trip. Or just seeing somebody struggling, helping people with their groceries or whatever. And then not only that, they see your shirt. It's like, wow, okay. And then people just feel more comfortable just talking to you because yeah. they see God or yeah. faith or something on the shirt. They just feel like, Man, I, I can tell you my story, yeah. Yeah. or I can uh, 
open up and talk to you a little yep. bit more. So their statements, they're not just t-shirts, they're yep. faith statements. Yep. Um, we have more. We have a lot more coming, but we're yeah. moving on unlimited faith. This is the second time now we moved to Phoenix. First time we moved to Phoenix, sight unseen. We didn't visit not one time. Yeah. This second time we went without a job in the middle of a pandemic. Lord Jesus. We left him. We could have said, "Oh no, oh no, we're no. scared. We don't shouldn't be moving because people are like y'all still moving. Yeah. Like we're all going in a pandemic, but it's like, well, we feel still feel the peace of God to go, yeah. and so you know, even stuff like that, and people in your ear, and situations come up. You got to if God tell you to do something, you got to still move on. Yeah. You can't allow life is gonna happen. It's gonna look different every time, but you can't allow that to take you off course on where God wants you to go. Right. Um, but yeah, that's our unexpected check story. We could probably gonna have some more crazy yeah, faith some stories. More, yeah, yeah. For y'all. If y'all got faith crazy faith stories, please comment them um, below. Yeah, we wanna know. <laughs> we wanna know. We wanna know. We wanna, we wanna know. know. Yeah. We we actually wanna put a collection of all the just stories people's together. crazy faith stories. Like our we got friends who bought a house who they never thought they wanted to go check their credit and end up buying a house. I mean, we got a lot of stories, and we want to we want to have them on here yeah. telling their story with us. And it's, so, it's there's a lot of people, a lot of people, and with a lot of faith stories. And I think if nothing else is encouraging to the next person, uh, yeah. it's just it's encouraging to the next believer, yeah. or, or 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 was a believer now is an unbeliever, or or it's it's just entertaining the thought of becoming a believer. I think it's encouraging. They need to know, man, that God is still doing miracles in 2020. I won't stop saying it. God is still working in 2020. He's, yep. he's not 2020 just... 2020 is not counsel. It, it's not. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not. And, and he's not just the God of of what you read in the Bible and mm -hmm. we're on an ancient thing. No, he's the true and living God. He's still alive. He's still doing things today. He's yep. still keeping us. He's still providing. He's still yep. making ways. He's still, you know, I, I can get on going and on. There's going to be another. We're going to do another yeah, video it's, on that But, I, I, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Yes. Hey, like, subscribe, click the, click the bell so you can know when we put upload a new video. Yeah, notification. Um, yeah. And then follow us on Instagram, yes. Facebook, Faith Unlimited. Faith Unlimited. Yeah, I hope this video encouraged y'all. Yeah. Just hang in there. It's crazy. Yeah. A lot going on in the world, but God is bigger. Yeah. And I love it. So, love y'all. Love y'all.